Hi guys. Hello, hello, welcome everyone. Happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Where is everyone? Hey Ash. Hey Lisa. They're coming. I'm the one that's late, I guess. Oh my goodness, look at me. I am six minutes late. Well, I have a very good reason for being late. My mom is visiting, so that is super exciting to have my mom here with us. Um, so we've been hanging out and talking and et cetera, et cetera. But anywho, here we are. And yes, I am nailless. <laughs> I chipped one nail. Don't ask. Anywho, let me open up YouTube. Hang on one second. Okay, sorry. Madison had a question. She's hanging out with grandma, which is super cool. So let's see, where are we? Let me open up and make sure I mute. She's hanging out with grandma. So as many of you have guessed by now, we are going to be playing with what? Dilutions. So we're going to be playing with dilutions today, which are super fun. If you do not have them, if you do not own them, um, you know, you can use your acrylic paint if you like uh, in place of them. Um, but that's the game for today. They are very, very vibrant bright, bright colors. Well, I shouldn't say that, not all of them. Obviously you have your grays, you have your whites and we can go through the colors and whatnot. Hey KK, hey Brian, hi Angie. Um, while we actually wait, we can go through the colors, but um, so you'll see like they'll have, oh, hang on one second, let me fix this pop up here. Go away, go away, nobody needs a pop up. I don't, go, go, okay, got it. All right. So um, you see that they'll have like some deeper colors and then some lighter ones. So like I said, I mean, they're very pigmented. So I mean, a little bit goes a long way. They're very creamy. Hey, Bev. Um, but anywho, and their names are amazing. I'm going to put on my glasses so I can read the names to you guys. Um, crushed Grape and Laid Back Lilac. So you see the difference there. Uh, and I've kind of separated them by colors because that just helps me to, you know, kind of find them a little bit quicker. Um, you've got your slate green, I'm sorry, your slate gray, <laughs> my Lord. Then you've got your white, which is called white linen. You've got your black, which is marble black, right? So those are your grays and whites. Then we've got our blues. You've got your periwinkle blue, your London blue, one of my favorites and your um, After Midnight. This one goes a long way, a little bit. It's a very strong color. So you can see, oh, you really can't see the difference between these two, huh? Wow, how interesting. Let me see if I separate them. A little bit better, but not really. Very big difference. This is like your um, purplish blue, right? Periwinkle, and this is just like a blue blue, like a London blue. That's why it's called London blue. Then you've got, hey, Pat. Then you've got your warm colors, right? Well, we got more of those, but I kind of put the reds together more so. So this is your uh, pomegranate seed, your cherry pie, and your, um, where is it? Post box red. So this is like a red red. This is more of a, um, like a cherry, no. It's called cherry pie, but it's almost like a pink, almost like a, yeah, like a cherry color. Um, and then this one, of course, is pomegranate. It's a very deep, you know, kind of burgundy color. Then, not that I know of, no, KK. Um, then we've got our greens, right? Now in the greens, um, I got a whole lot of greens. Why? Because Madison loves her teals and her greens. So you go figure, right? Um, we've got chopped pesto, cut grass, mushy peas, Love mushy peas. I know the name is not like the most enticing name, but it is beautiful. It's a beautiful green. And your fresh lime, right? See the differences there. And then you still have one more, two more here too. 
you have your dirty martini, your island parrot, and your sour apple teeny. So if you guys notice a difference, these are the older containers. These are the new containers. So the new containers are um, a lot easier in a sense because of course they kind of sit this way. So the paint is always facing downward, which is kind of cool. And then also um, they don't dry up as quickly because they're in a smaller bottle and a smaller air hole, right? Where these, when you're playing with them, you kind of have to be careful to, let me move my keyboard, to, um, to close them. I mean, while you're working with them, sure you can use them, but um, you know, they do dry up. Obviously water evaporates. Now, if it starts to get um, kind of crusty or whatever, all you need to do is just add some water and, and mix it back up, you know? And even um, Dinah Weekly tells you that, let me get my spritzer. that when you're done playing for the day, she recommends just grabbing your spritzer and doing one of those, you know, a spritz and then closing it back up. So they changed the bottles because I guess too many folks were complaining that their paints were drying out. And again, it's because it has a very large, you know, opening where air is constantly, you know, obviously it's being exposed to air. So these are the new bottles. So those are all the greens that I have. Hey, Sandy, hey, Nina. Then we've got Tangerine Dream, Pure Sunshine, Squeezed Orange, three very different oranges. And then you've got even these two. This is Fiery Sunset, which really I should put with the, um, with the reds. And then Mango Punch, which goes with the oranges. Then we get into our teals and aquas. We've got Polished Jade, Vibrant Turquoise, and Calypso Teal. So again, three very, see the blues show almost identical on screen. That's weird with the teals, yeah. Something's funky with my colors, I don't know what, but anywho, they're very different. Hey, Kristen. All right, hey, Tammy. Then we've got our pinks, right? I've got four different pinks. There might be more now. I, I honestly don't know. We've got Funky Fuchsia, Puny Blue, Rose Quartz. As you can tell, it's almost empty. You can tell which ones are my favorites, right? Love this one. Oh, my goodness. Look, it's been a while since we played with them. So you can see that one's like half empty already. Love the pink. Love this pink, too. I love all pinks, but that one especially, right? Um, and so, yeah, very different for distinct, but they play so nicely together when you want to stay within that palette, you know, if you know, those are your, like your colors to go to, then that's pretty cool. And then we've got our, um, browns, right? Our yellows and browns. You've got, um, ground coffee. Yum, yum. Right. It's like a nice deep brown. Oh, it looks kind of greenish. It's got a little bit of a green to it. Um, your um, lemon zest, your vanilla custard, another one of my favorites, of course. Um, and if you notice, I have two because I'm almost done with this one. So I kept one of the small bottles too because I know I go through that one a lot. So those are the colors that I have. There might be more out there. Don't know for sure. But um, those are the ones that I have. So that's what we can play with, right? So I've got some palette knives to play with and then because you don't want to obviously cross contaminate your your stuff you want to try and keep it clean and then I thought we'd do something different today and try to do some envelopes because those would be fun to have right now I did see another technique that we might try might 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 not it involves these we'll see maybe we'll see if we have time um, so if you're going to play along, break out your dilution paints, break out your um, palette knives, break out some paper, could be envelopes, could be cardstock, could be whatever you've got. Break out your, what else do we need, guys? Our jelly plates. Yes, these are all in the store, honey, in the new containers, in these, not those. We don't, I don't think we have any more of those left. 
and I like them both. I'll be honest with you. To me, it's not a big deal. I like the wide opening, obviously, for like dipping my palette knife. But I don't have a problem with it, you know, like because I just spritz it and make sure that it's always constantly moist on top. But, you know, either one. Um, you're going to need your gel plate. What else are we going to need? Uh, we're going to need a brayer. Get your brayer. What else do we need? We need a cover. We need a mat. Let's cover our workspace. So we'll get our mat. Hey, Shy. Oh, I haven't seen it, honey. Today? Just PM me, too. If, if you ever need to get a hold of me, I am not um, the fastest on email, but you can always PM me, and I'm pretty quick on that. Okay. Wait, I did check my email this morning. I don't think I saw anything. So if you did and it was this morning, let me know. Because that means it might have gone. Actually, you know what? I can check right now and see and see. Oh, one at 5.45 and one at 5.57. Yeah, like 20 minutes ago. Okay. I'll take a look at them after the live. Just send. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So what else do we need? We need, what else should we use? Maybe some stencils and uh, maybe some of our plates, texture plates. I didn't even put them away from last time. They're still here. So maybe we can do some of those, right? Let's see. Oh, this one's pretty. This one's like lace. Let's use that. That looks pretty. And we haven't used it yet. Okay. And let's pick another one. Ooh, let's do this one. I love this one. It says love and then um, live, A, B, C, and create. I love that one just probably because of that, right? All right, so let's do that. No, they get, um over time, they're not clear anymore, honey. It depends on what products you use. They do start absorbing different colors. Um, but actually, I clean mine. A lot of people don't even clean theirs, like, ever, ever, ever. It doesn't affect anything. Actually, I wish I didn't clean mine. I didn't feel compelled to clean mine as much because some of the coolest results happen when people do not clean their gel plates. I've seen some beautiful stuff being lifted because it's all nice and, you know, like layered. Um, okay, so let's just keep it simple. We'll do that. Maybe some stencils. Well, we'll look at some stencils in a second. All right, so hopefully everyone's got their stuff ready, right? And all we're going to do is just go for it. There is not going to be any rhyme or reason into anything, okay? And we'll start with some very basic, simple colors, and then we can always just add some more. Hmm. Let's see, what would go well? Let's do some yellow. Let's live dangerously. We're gonna go bright. Now again, remember these, and again, you don't have to shake them up like this, guys. I just choose to do that because I don't wanna have to stick a palette knife in there and blend it up. I just like to shake my paints. Okay. Uh oh, got something on there. Oh. And again, gotta be patient because I haven't used these in a while. And all we're gonna do, oh, see, this one's a little dry. Well, that's easy enough. Let me get a popsicle stick, actually. And we'll let this one sit for a little bit and let it recondition. Put it off to the side. Put that off to the side. We'll try the next one. 
sour cherry jelly bean, as in jelly beans. See, this one needs a little bit as well. It's not as bad as the other one, but it's been a while. This is why you need to play with your toys. But again, the fact that they just recondition with water is easy enough to do, right? I don't think I've had a jelly bean in a long time. We used to have this awesome store when I was a little girl back up north that had, I don't even know. I mean, you know, when you're a child, it looks like a gazillion different jelly beans, right? But they had walls of different jelly beans and you can go and mix and match them by the pound. And oh my gosh, I so wanted my parents, you know, to always take us there. And of course, you know, candy is not the best choice. So it wasn't always my parents, you know, first choice when they thought of an outing, but when they did, oh my goodness, I'd be so happy. And they had some really cool flavors. Oh, actually, you know what? I know when was the last time I ate um, jelly beans. Madison got, I think for Christmas, was it for Christmas or her birthday? She got a box of Harry Potter jelly beans. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them, but they have some good flavors and some not. You know what? Let's try and use it as a paste and see what happens. I've never tried. Why not? Oh, let me add some more water and let it condition. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen those boxes, but they've got some normal flavors, right? And then along with that, they got some like really disgusting disgusting flavors like I'm trying to think I think there was a booger like boogie flavor one there was a vomit flavor one what else was in there oh I can't remember but you know that's what you never know because the colors are similar so if you get a white one you don't know if you're getting a vomit or banana and so you kind of have to do almost like that blind challenge you know where you have to, oh, that's not probably not going to work. No, it just lifted right off. Um, where you get that, um, the jelly bean challenge. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. It's kind of gross. But you have to um, just pick whatever flavor comes out, and that's what you're eating, you, you know. And, oh, my gosh, we just didn't even dare. <laughs> I think she still has. There's a dog food one. Yes, yes, exactly. There were some nasty flavors in there. And so I just, I didn't even dare. I told Madison, I said, oh no. I mean, I can try and lick some of them. I'm not even gonna mess with these right now. I'm gonna put them off to the side and work on them later. I'm just gonna add water to them because I don't wanna take up an hour to work with dry paints, sorry. Um. But yeah, I think that's the last time I actually had, oh, my goodness, are they all? Wow, has it been that long? <gasps> this might be a fail. I might have to go get something else, guys. Hang on. Well, no time like now to do some maintenance. Hang on. Put that one to the side as well. There's a dirt one. I don't even remember. They're still in the fridge because we don't dare. That one is also, wow, I need to recondition all of them. Oh, no. We can go get something else. We can go get some acrylics. And we can do these next time. So note to self, check your stuff every so often. Mm. Mm. Oh, that one's kosher. Okay, that one's good. And that's what it's supposed to look like, by the way. We got a winner. We've got a winner. Hey, Coco. Have you finished your peacock kit yet? I had so much fun. It was so cool just hanging out. and So we're changing our minds. We're doing different colors now, guys. Oh, is this yellow any good? Please be good. Let's find out. 
Yay, we've got another winner. Well, let's do our blue first. Let's get something on the plate. And a little bit goes a long way. So I kind of went a little generous on this, to be honest with you. So let me do some of that. And let me get a mop up page. Move these. We don't need all that much. Okay. I kind of got mine finished, my peacock. I, I'm almost done, I should say. Actually, I might consider it done because I have another idea for it too. So I might just leave it as is. So we've got two here that we can work with. Oh, I should have used a bigger jelly plate. Why aren't you guys stopping me? If we use a bigger jelly plate, then we can actually get the whole envelope as opposed to having to have a seam. Okay, we'll finish this one and then we'll get the bigger one. Jeez, get it together, Maddie. What is happening today? No, I shouldn't say that. It's been so much fun. My mom being here, she's such a huge help and it's just nice catching up. So I kind of been zoning out, not really doing much of anything else. Let's find another color. What do we think? Should we throw some green at it? I don't hear anything moving. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. I need a whole lot. Put some layer. And we'll put some about here. And here. And there. And there. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. Oh, she's upstairs. I don't know if I don't know if they're watching. Madison and Graham are hanging out together. So, but if there's they're listening, they're saying hi, mom. Hey, Carol. Right, Angie? I should have told you a lot more explicitly, and then you could have stopped me. That's okay. That's okay. We'll get a cool print out of this one, and then we'll move on. Let's put some of that green around. And that gives you guys time, if you haven't gotten your stuff out, to go get it. Clean that off. In the meantime, we're going to clean all of this off. I was going to do, hmm, I was going to do some more stuff to that, but since we're just going to lift it off, I'm not even going to bother. Let me just get some, some, um, some backgrounds here. Let's see. What do we have? I've got some pre cut ATCs we can use. Let's use these right here and see how many we can fit. Let's put one there, put one, does that one fit? Not really. There, and we'll have to probably half this one. We'll do half there, and then we'll lift the other half. So we'll get some ATCs out of it. Nothing goes to waste. Right, right, right that and then we'll get this side on the other half is this the last sunday of the month oh my goodness is it really oh cool let's pick up that corner uh-huh okay so we've got one background kind of cool i still see some of that purple do you see the little flex hang on i got some purple in there huh go figure we thought we got none of the purple. We did. Got that one. And we've got this one. And let's pick up 
just, I don't want to see that seam right there. See how you can see the border? So I'm just going to try and pick some paint up and see if I can hide that. I can't grate. If not, we'll find another way to do it. That's interesting. It's almost like there's a cut in the card. It might have been the way I cut the paper. Okay, so there you go. So we've got three backgrounds out of that either way. And let's just lift off the rest of this and get the bigger plate. Wow, the whole month, that's it? Yep, and I guess we are playing bingo on Sunday. And see, this is the part of me that wants to clean off every last bit of that. But everyone leaves it, and it turns out so cool. I wish I didn't feel compelled to clean it as much. Okay, cool. So now we've got the beginning of another cool page. Let's get rid of this one, and let's bring in the bigger one. Where are you? Is, is this one big enough for the envelopes? Yeah. Let me get rid of all these crusties here. Is that big enough? Yes, perfect. Oh, we might even get two. Mm, I don't know. Maybe we can do an envelope and some ATCs. Hey, dear B. Okay, so we start with this one now. And let's see, should we do, well, we already did these colors. Let's see what else we have that we can play with. And again, trying to see what is, yeah, this one's good. Yeah. Ooh, this is midnight blue. A little bit of this goes a long way. But it's a beautiful color. Look at that. Oh. Okay. So let's put some there, some there, some here, some here. Maybe clean off the rest because that's a lot of paint and it's a very dark color. Be gentle with your plate, right? All right, so we know that one's working. This one's working. We're going to park over here the ones that are not going to work for us today. I'll have to mix them in tomorrow. I'll take the time to do that off screen. All right, let's go ahead and roll that. Go here. A little there, a little this way, a little that way. Maybe some this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. That looks good. Pick some up, put it back up here. Spread that one a little bit more. I think we're good. Okay, that looks good. Roll that off. It is, is she freezing? Oh no, am I freezing up? Uh-oh, like a lot? I just looked up. Tell me guys, let me know. That's really dark. So do we wanna go, no, let's lighten it up. Um, Let me know if I'm freezing up guys and I'll check my connection. Ooh, that one looks creamy too. That's good. Creamy, yeah, creamy. This is another really powerful, bright color. So we might have to bring in something really soft in here after this. Not that going big and bright is, you know, is a problem, right? All right, that one's good. We're going to park it over here. Oh, no. See, I don't see it on my end. Hmm. Freezing here. Oh no. No, the new bottles are not the same. Oh, I mean, I don't mean as far as ounces. Let's see. This is one ounce. And these were two ounces. So no, these are these will contain twice as much as these. But as you can see the difference, you see how mine, I'm finding that because we haven't used them in like, I don't know, probably a good five months. They're already crusted, and that's why. It's because so much air gets in there. 
And that's why they decided to redesign them and make them into little bottles. So like I said, I guess I can see the benefit, but a lot of the times the way that we use dilutions is for finger painting. And for that reason, I like the bigger bottles, the bigger openings, because then I just kind of, you know, stick our fingers in there. So, but I get it. I get it. I'm sure they've done their market research and they know what the consumers want. And so they're going to do that. And that's fine. Okay. Then let's do something lighter. Let's do custard. Oh, there she is. So she's upstairs listening with grandma. Hi, mom. Or maybe not. Maybe grandma is like, what am I looking at? And why would I be interested? That looks like a big old mess. She's probably thinking that. You know that, right? <laughs> My mom is probably like, that looks like a big old mess. My mom has a great eye for art. Oh my gosh, she is so talented, but different. She works with fabrics. So totally different. And of course you'd figure that I would be able to. So no, I can't even put on a button, right? Hardly, seriously. Obviously that gene got sip, skipped on my generation because yeah, no. Mm -mm. Okay. Let's spread that a little bit, a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there, some here, some here, bring some back in there. And kind of roll that all over, just to soften up the background some. Okay, I think that's looking good, guys. I think, although with jelly printing, you never know until you lift it, right? Now, let's bring in one of our texture plates. Where they go? Where they go, guys? We were going to use this lace one, right? So let's use it. Let's use some of it here. Let's use some of it maybe here. Let's stamp that off. I didn't pick up that much, but look how pretty that is. Oh, so pretty. Yes, yes, we already have them on order, Shy. I didn't get to see the whole video, but I got plenty of messages of people saying, oh my God, you gotta get these. So sure enough, I ran out there and pre-order them for you. So they are coming. I have no more space. This is sad. Okay. Put that off to the side. Clean this up a bit. Okay. I've heard raves about them, so I can't wait to see them. They are coming. No worries. And also the mini um, distressings in the uh, four new colors. They're coming with that same shipment as well. Okay, so we've done that. Let's let that dry. In the meantime, Madison left me some questions somewhere to get into the fairy jar. If I can find them. Oh boy, where'd she leave them? Madison, if you're listening, where are the cards, babe? I don't see them. Oh, I see them. I see them. I see them. So while this dries, I'm going to ask you a question. Hey, Deb. Okay. So I have the big one, so I'm good. Cool. So while we let that dry, oh, I'm out of frame, aren't I? What on earth? You guys need to holler. All right. While we let those dry, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Wait for the go. And I did. Yes, thank you, Brian. I sure did. Thank you very much. Let me get my mouse so I can get your go ready. 
All right, ready? Name something parents yell at their kids to stop doing. Name something that parents yell at their kids to stop doing. We've all been there, both sides, right? Being told and doing it and telling it. <laughs> Here you go. And I'll let it run for like 30 seconds and then I'll put in a stop. Name something that parents yell at their kids, nope, still wet, to stop doing. What is something that your parents were saying, stop doing that? That probably wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done. But I had some of those little crusties in there. I should be checking paints. Oh my gosh, talking on the phone. I just saw that one. Yes. I don't know if it's on the card, but yes. I swear, kids, wait. Oh my gosh, until you're actually on the phone. They won't say a peep. They're minding their own business. The moment that phone rings, yep. They've got they need something. They gotta tell you something. They're hungry or they're thirsty. They gotta show you something for sure. All right, here comes your stop. And here it is. Okay. So let's go back up. Let's put it on live chat. And everyone hold chat so I don't lose it, okay? All right. So the first one was fighting or hitting. Fighting. Okay, I see fight, Carol G. My tickets. So Carol G. Oops, I got half a ticket. All right. The next one is running in the house. Running, running with scissors, running. Anybody say running in the house? Running in the house, Nina. <laughs> Nina's like, I've been told that before a time or two. Nina, okay. The next one is yelling. Yelling, yelling, Brian. Oh, my hands are all dirty. Then crying or whining, crying or whining, crying or whining. Crying or whining? No, I don't see anything. No crying? Really? No way. No crying and no whining? What? Okay, you guys tell me if I missed it. Talking, sassing. Talking, shy. Then we've got picking nose. Ew. Picking nose. Nose picking. Who's got a nose picker? Nose, nose, nose. Mm. Nope, I don't see that one either. And then jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh, I don't see any of those. Okay, will you guys tell me if I missed anything? Hey, Rose. Angie says running. I know, but somebody actually got running in the house. They got the full sentence. Okay, so the ones I didn't see were crying, whining, talking back or sassing, picking nose, or jumping on the bed. Let You guys let me know if I missed anyone. Hey, Julia. Okay, so those go in the jar. Oh, see, I didn't even cut the ones from last week. Got to cut those apart. Okay, and I think we're dry. So, oh, maybe not. Wow, seriously? For real? For real? Hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> oh, well, we'll take a chance. Again, nothing ventured, nothing gained. You know what? Let's do, we'll do the stenciling afterwards. How's that? Just to be on the safe side. Let's just do the stenciling after we do the, um, the pickup. I need, oh, is my white any good? It might not even be any good anymore. Let's see. Is it, is it? Nope. It's, it's borderline. Oh, let me go get another one. Hey, Kelly. How are you? We are discovering that Maddie hasn't played, or Madison, because Madison actually plays a lot more with dilutions than I do. We haven't played with our dilutions in a while. Let's find... I think this is white. Yeah, it's got every color on the lid though, <laughs> but it's white. Oh yeah, thanks Brian, absolutely. Let's pick it up with white. Oh, we should have done some splatters. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, somebody remind me in the next one to do some splatters, okay? Okay, so let's see what we can get up from this deliciousness we've made in here. And again, the cool thing is it's paint. So if you don't like it, you layer. And if you don't like that, you layer again. And if you don't like that one, you layer again. And you just keep on layering and stenciling and doing whatever you wanna do until you get your desired result, right? Can we fit a second one? I don't think so. Hey, Abril. But guess what I do have? I have some old tickets. Maybe we can put some of them down. Huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And see what happens. Maybe I should have done it on the opposite side. That's what I'm thinking. We'll do some on this side. We'll do some on this side and maybe we can recycle them. Because you guys are always getting on me, right, about throwing away the tickets. There. There be Liz, there be Rosie, Bev, Tori. There, I'm recycling. Okay, oops. I shouldn't have let that paint dry. I knew it, I let the paint dry, oh no. Maddie, why, why? Why? Nope, we're gonna have to do another hand, another coat. Oh, that would have been so pretty though, look. <gasps> okay, we have to go back with another coat. I let the paint dry. All right, let's do it again. Would it have even covered this side? No, okay. We'll do it again. Nothing is wasted. It's still all there. If I flip this, you'll see it, watch. It's still all there. So it's gonna come up with whatever paint we put on next, it's gonna pick it right back up again. So, well, let's use our white again, just so I can show you nothing is wasted. Let's pick up this side right here, only. Oops, so I'm kinda heavy on that one. Nothing is wasted, it's all there. We just need to not talk so much and pick it up. Rub it in, burnish it nice and... Right, I could, you're right. Definitely reuse them, you're right. Come on. Why are you being hard-headed? Could it be the envelope? Huh. It's not wanting to pick it up, guys. Hmm. Let's try a regular piece of paper. Hang on. 
something's gonna miss. What is happening here? Let's add color. Let's add color again. Because there's no reason why that is not being picked up. Hmm. Hmm. We live and learn. And today is one of those days where I'm learning. I'm learning to check on my paints every so often. I'm learning that maybe envelopes might have different coatings on them. I just have to think about it. Let's see. If we try with this and it doesn't pick up, then I am at a loss. Because this is just plain cardstock. No, it's not wanting to pick it up, guys. Did I let the dilution sit on for too long? Is that a thing? Abril, you use your dilutions a lot more than I do. Can you let them sit for too long to the point where they won't want to come up? Some of it came up. And it's still kind of cool. But not everything came up. Hmm. Just so. Hmm. You know what? Let's do it again. Let's do it again. This is simple, simple. Clean up. Let's do it again. Let's take everything off and start up new and see what happens. It was still, still all in there. See it? Just the bottom didn't want to come up. Maybe my paints were too dry. That could be a thing. And I almost want to leave those smudges on there. Oh my God, look at all that great color. I wonder if I would have wet it. Hang on. Oh, that started to come up. It's almost like it, it was too dry. Huh, how interesting. How very interesting. And what, what, what? Yeah, you're right, Kelly. Misting it almost seemed to lift it back up. I have a feeling maybe the paints were too dry. Let me try and swoosh it around. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Let me rub it in. And just kind of scrape it off of there. And not waste that paint. Let's see if we can pick it back up. After I made this mess. I just want to see if it comes up. Because I can still see it on the plate. It's there. It's here. Can you guys see it? Am I on screen? Hmm. And then we're going to try it again. And this time we're going to pick up those colors really fast before they dry and see if that's it. It's going to be a happy mess. <laughs> it's going to be something. But again, Nothing is lost because remember, guys, all we do is we cover right over it if we don't like it. Okay, we picked up some more color. See? Cool. Mm, cool and cool. So there you go. We got a page that I'll never be able to recreate because it was all just a happy accident. Let's clean it up. Let's bring out the dilutions again. We're going to try, actually, you know what? We're going to kind of use the same colors to see what happens. And we're going to do it two ways. We're going to do it with regular paper first to test the theory if it's the envelope. And then we're going to do it with the envelope. Okay, clean plate. All right, clean plate. Throw that away. Okay, now let's do it again. Move this off to the side. Mm, do we want a chance using that envelope? No, let's toss that aside. Not we're gonna not toss it away. We're gonna toss it to the side. We're gonna start with brand new stuff 
and see what happens. Because wait, no, actually we did do it. We use the same dilutions here and they picked up. <laughs> what colors did we use on the last one, guys? Who remembers? Wasn't it this, this, and this? I want to say it was these three. Yeah, I think so. Looking at this, I see those three colors. Oh my gosh, I'm sticking. I just saw myself sticking. Yeah, just water, honey. I think it was these three colors. I'm pretty sure. We'll use those three again just to test our theory. Here we go. Midnight blue, right? We started with that, and I said, remember, that goes a long way. Get off. Oh, my Lanta. Today's one of those. Nice. Okay. But we're going to relax and just have fun because that's what it's about. No, the consistency is good. I don't see anything wrong with it. No, it's nice and creamy and everything. Mm -mm. Couldn't be that, I don't think. All right, then we're going to do our periwinkle blue. It's pretty clean. This time we're not going to let it dry. We're going to pick it right back up and see if maybe that was part of the problem. Periwinkle blue. <laughs> I'll send them to you, Coco. How's that? And then we're going to do this one. Right? I think those were the three. I'm pretty sure. And I think we have enough there. Ooh, that blue is strong. Oh no, let me break some of it off. Otherwise it's gonna just take over everything. Okay, then we're gonna try and do our light blue. What else, maybe some here, some here. All right, clean that off. I should have cleaned it off on the envelope. And then we'll go in for our red. Get off, get off, get off, get off. Did Abril ever answer me about the uh, her dilutions? Abril's really good at using dilutions. Her and Madison use them a lot. Where I not so much. Okay. I think that looks pretty much like the last one, right? Now let's smooth some of it over. All right. I think that's a pretty close equivalent. Now we're going to try just paper. and see what it gives. What do you think? Yep, but you know what? A whole bunch of it is still left on the plate again. So the answer is yes, but I still have a lot of color left. So what do we think about that? I don't know. Let's put an envelope down and see what gives. See if we can pick some more of that up. Oh, I should have done it with the flap open. Hello, guys. You're not helping. You need to stop me. It worked perfectly. What on earth? So then it was a matter of not letting the colors dry. 
you want to pick the stuff up when it's actually nice and wet. Let's get that other envelope that I put aside. Let's pick some of this up. Some of that up. Let's not waste any of it. Although, again, it doesn't go to waste. If you leave it, it'll make a nice next layer. How interesting. It doesn't like to be dry on the gel plate. Hmm. Okay, we picked up almost all of it now. Where else? Here. And here. And then we'll layer this too, so this won't be a problem. But yeah, definitely. It worked just fine that time. So I've just learned illusions. Don't let them dry. Yeah. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Uh, let's leave those on there. It doesn't matter. Let's do some teals and pinks. Oh, I hope my pink is still good. Nope. Got to recondition that one. Wow. Okay. This other pink? Mm, that one is iffy. Let's recondition it. Because that might be part of the problem that I'm getting into. Okay, so maybe I am sold on the new on the new jars. Not because it's a big deal, but because if you don't use them for more than six months, you're going to end up having to recondition all of them. Mm, that one's also questionable. Well, I guess I could mix it and not be lazy, huh? Fine, I'll mix it. Okie dokies. Let's do some of that. Don't want to waste that. Don't want to waste that either. None of it. Not one bit. So pretty. And let's do teal. Let's pick, what is this? Calypso teal. Let's see. How are we doing, Calypso? Mm, we could use some water. It's like peanut butter. But just water. Yeah, this one's going to need some reconditioning. Wow. You just have to be patient. And I don't want to be patient right now because I want to craft. I want to make something pretty. I want to finish at least an envelope. I'll keep playing with them. I'll leave them out till tomorrow. And I'll recondition them. I'll take my time. And then tomorrow I'll make some envelopes and I'll post them in the group. How's that? So you guys can see them. Okay, this one's definitely good. I can see that. But you see how it's starting to separate? Uh-huh, because Maddie doesn't play with them enough. So you know what that means? That means I have to play with them more, right? We have to break them out and play with them again. And then I should have Miss Madison finish them off. And then I can say, hey, I need to um, get all the small ones. <laughs> Oh, wait, I hear a ball in this one. Oh, they changed that too. You hear it? Huh, there's a bearing in there. Now you guys know. I didn't know either. I thought it was just a regular paint, like the ones in the jars, but I guess they've learned from their mistakes. Everyone does, right? Okay, here we go. So let's do our pink first. At least try to in some areas. It's going to get mixed no matter what I do. But every so often it doesn't hurt to brayer off and clean it. 
because you don't want to make mud. All right, so we want to be a little careful. Clean it off again. Oh, that is so pretty, those colors. Oh my goodness. Yum. Okay, did we do all of our pink? Yes. Let's go in for the teal. Teal, teal. Oh my goodness, these colors are so beautiful. And I am not a big color person, like, you know, super bright colors, but these are stunning. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at that. Even that looks pretty, just on that page. Oh. oh, so pretty. Okay, and then let's do our cream. And that's gonna be our last color here. Oh yeah. Oh, makes me wanna run the comb through it. Where are my texture combs? Oh yeah. Oh. That is looking so stinking cool. You don't think about the process too much? <laughs> I was like, whatever. Stick it on and go. Okay. I love this page right here. Oh my goodness. I love this page right here. I love that. Okay. This time we're going to open up the full flap. Yes? Yes. Everybody stay with me. This time we're gonna open up the full flap and then we're gonna come back in and do, do some of our tickets maybe. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Oh yes. All right, let's get our tickets. Hurry up. And we said we were going to try what side? Both sides, right? Where are they? Where did I put them? Hey, Yolanda. How's it going? We're making a mess. See, I saved all the tickets from last month. Or the month before. I don't know when. But I saved them. Let's see. If they don't work, then we're going to go in the garbage anyway. So it makes no difference. We've lost nothing. Nada. Nina. And Nana. And Veronica. Angela. Angie. Who's that? Roller coaster. Julia. Derby. Yes, we're making a mess. Amanda. We've got all kinds of peeps in here. Bev, Nettie, another Amanda. Let's stick Amanda over there. That one's kind of torn. Let's stick Roy in here. All of our friends. Oh, where do we know that one's kind of torn anyway? Shy right here. Penny P. Uh oh, starting to dry. That one won't budge. Okay, let's see what we get. You guys ready? Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna have lovely fingers after this. Oh, I didn't press it down enough. Okay, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Push down, Maddie. Oh, there's two there. Push it, swish it around, get it all in there. And lift off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I probably should have done it on the opposite side because of some of these, I can still see the writing. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yummy. See, I can still see Roy's name on there, can you guys? But it's super cool. So next time we'll do them on the opposite side. Oh my gosh, Lisa, thank you. Genius, why isn't anybody else telling me these things? You guys are supposed to be working with me. Come on. Thank you, Lisa. I'm glad I looked up. 
<laughs> More pink on your name. Thank you, Kelly. Okay, you guys ready? I think we got him now because you guys are amazing. I get all this combobulated when I'm live. Why is that? Am I the only one that happens to? I'm sure I'm not. Cool. Cool. Oh, I love these. These are so cute. And I can actually throw them in that same matching envelope now. Oh my gosh, you know, we could have done the paper, the matching tag, everything to match the envelope if we would have actually thought about it beforehand. Get some color on that one. Yeah. Get Angie some more color. Yes, but I will definitely do the opposite side next time because you can still see the names through them. And it wouldn't have made that much of a difference if I would have done the other side. Yay. Woohoo. Nice tickets. I like, oh, look at them. How cool. They're so pretty. Can you guys see them? Have I shown you any? I'm just like pulling them and not even showing them to you. Hang on. Look at the colors on there. So stinking cool. These are going to be awesome. Ooh. And I fit a whole bunch in one plate. All right. And we still got all that color that we're going to try and pick up here. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Except for that little corner. Let's see. Let's get some. Ah, now it's perfect. Ha, ha, ha. And we can, oh, oh, that one's stinking awesome. See that? So cool. Wait till we distress those and put a little image on there. Mm -hmm. Yep, or a little word, a sentiment. They're gonna be cool. Nothing got thrown out. Okay. Lordy, my mom's gonna think that I am crazy. Look at my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing this stuff washes off really easily with just water. Some more of that, some more of this. Ooh, that one had a lot of pink. Cool. Okay. Awesome sauce. Let's pick up whatever's left on here. Yeah. Or see what we can do with it. Well, let's do it. Hmm. I guess it doesn't matter. Both of these sides were just. Scraps anyway. You are not the only one. I do as well, especially when I lose my stuff after. I just. <laughs> oh, some more that came up. Let's miss it again. And of course, I just wet that side. Hello, Maddie. Now I'm not going to have to do it that way. I'm going to do it this way now because my hands are icky enough already. Nope, it's not wanting to pick up anymore. And see, so I don't know if it's my delusions. Well, I did pick up some. I shouldn't say none. That's pretty cool. Um... I don't know if it's just mine or I don't know. I don't know why I won't pick that back up. <laughs> if I swoosh it around, we know that it does. If I, hmm. I am at a loss why I won't pick up once it gets dry. It's kind of stubborn on the gel plate. See, it's really stubborn. Hmm. You think gel medium? Okay, let's do it. To pick it back up? Okay, hang on, let me go get some gel medium.
let's try it. Because nothing ventured, nothing gained. Good night, Kelly. Thanks for stopping in. And thanks for learning with us. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Okay, and then we have some more questions. Madison left me a few cards. So we're gonna try them. This is matte medium, so let's see. Well, why is it oh, so runny? I should have gotten the thicker body maybe. Hmm. Well, let's see. Mm, 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 mm. I need another page to clean off on. Should we try with an ATC? Should we try with a full page? What shall we do? Should we? Mm, 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 mm. No. No. No, 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 no. Oh, that's kind of cool though. Man, I should have done that with when I had it on there. No, no, no likey, no me gusta. No, we'll just clean it off. No, I didn't miss the paper, Coco, but it had plenty of water. It just doesn't like it. Oh yeah, that did pull up a little bit more. You're right. I think that might have pulled like almost all of it. Man, I had some stubborn. No, I lied. Well, no, I did bring up some. Nope. We're gonna let it sit here for a while. Let's see. Let's see. Let's pat it and love it and tell it it's a good boy, good boy. It almost wants to pick it up. All right, well, I let that dry. I'm going to ask you a question. All right, so we did this side, right? Yeah, let's do the other side. Okay, ready? Name something. Wow, speaking of colors. <laughs> Name something that turns brown name something that turns brown come on no it just doesn't wanna some but it just does not wanna ew brill milk oh my god Oh, that's kind of pretty though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna tell you I hate it because I don't. I don't hate it at all. That's actually kind of cool. Okay. Let's get one last lift. What do we have that we can lift off with? Nothing. Ah, oh, here we go. Name something that turned brown. And then, it's only a little bit left. Come on, don't be stubborn. Come up. Come on. Nope. It just wants to be a troublemaker. But we got almost all of it. Look, that's not bad, right? And I like that last pull. All right, here comes the stop. Mm, stop. I'm gonna clean this off, get it out of my way so I can actually use my keyboard. Hold tight, everyone, hold chat, okay? Hold for just one second. Hello, it would help if I wet it. I thought I had. See, it comes up so easy. That doesn't make any sense. It's just stubborn when it comes to lifting once it dries. So I'm gonna play with it some more. I'm actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna break out the new ones, these, and see if I get a, a better result. And I'll tell you guys on the Facebook page. How's that? I'll give you a status update and what I've learned. Cause it just might be 
that I needed to condition them more or I don't know. Let me get rid of all this. Whole chat. Really, Coco? Oh no, maybe I put it in too quickly. Hang on. Okay, semi clean desk. Yes. Okay. Clean hands, not so much so. Let's see, what answers are we looking for? We're looking for banana. Bananas. And I'll refresh because a lot of people said bananas. Banana goes to Yolanda. Woo -woo. Yolanda in the jar. Next month you'll become a, uh, a project, Yolanda. <laughs> Your ticket will. Then we have leaves. Leaves goes to Barb Dingwell. Hey, Barb, welcome. Barb Dingwell. Then we've got lettuce. Who said lettuce? Lettuce, 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 Tammy. And by the way, for Barb or anybody else who has not played before, um, if you guys are not familiar with it, what we do is we put your ticket in the fairy jar. This is our fairy jar. And at the end of the month, the last Sunday of every month, we do a drawing. You must be present to win, so make sure you come back on Sunday. And we draw for gift cards, okay? So make sure you come back. You could get some moolah, Tammy. Then we had plants. Plants, plants. Oh, nobody got plants. Dead plants. Yep, Carol G. Right? Was she the? Yep. Go, Miss Carol. Then we've got apples. I saw a lot of apples. Apples, apples, apples. First apple is Sandy. Then we've got grass. I did. I just saw it too. Where is grass? Grass is Angie. Yay, Angie. Angie B. Then flowers. Oh, they're always so sad when they die. My mom can have flowers for like weeks. I mean like months, over a month. I get flowers and they're dead within three days. I don't know. And yes, I do put the little packets in and I read all about adding this and that. And yeah, no, mm -mm, it doesn't work for me. All right, so who said flowers? Some people I think just have the touch and other, others don't. I don't, I don't have it. For flowers, Julia. Then the last one, it's veggies. Who said veggies? Veggies, toast, guacamole. Oh my God, that is so true, guacamole turns brown, ew. I love guacamole, but not, I can't stand it when it's brown, it looks so gross. Um, food, veggies, veggies, veggies. Come on, dead plants, rice, television. What? I don't see anybody with vegetables. Did I miss anyone? No, beef stew. No, no. What was the question? Oh, name something that turns brown, honey. <laughs> what crazy question was this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Where is Kim? I didn't see Kim. Southpaw's here? Where? Somebody said Southpaw. Hey, Kim, Kim, if you're here, I didn't see you, honey. All right, so I think I got them all, okay? So those will go in, and again, you have to be present. It's gonna be next Sunday. Now, next Sunday is the last Sunday of the month, and so the last Sunday of every month, we've been trying to celebrate um, birthdays with Bingo. There she is, hey, Kim. Um, so, um, so if you guys do not have a bingo card and you would like one, they're free and we just play online bingo. Everyone plays in their comfort of their home. And why are these here? Oh, these are because I didn't want to use them. I thought they fell out of here. Um, so yeah, if you want a bingo card, all you have to do is email me. My, um, email is down below in the description box. 
It's spectrumartcreations at gmail.com. And then you can play with us live next Sunday. All right, we did both sides. Yes, okay, so she left us one more card. So we'll do those. And oh, wait, we forgot to look up what happened to our prints. Oh, Maddie, why would you put one print on top of another? Why, why, why? Hold up, let me dry this. Because I just made a boo boo. Well, let me dry, let me dry. Hi, Christina. Okay. The illusions colors are so beautiful. Oh my goodness. If you love color, yeah. The illusions have amazing, amazing colors. Um, Lisa, actually, I have mail over there that I haven't opened. I should open it, right? You guys want to see mail? We could switch to that in a bit if you guys want to do that. I just want to dry this a little bit. Look at our envelope. It's going to look so pretty. And we haven't even done stenciling or anything on it yet. But I like the fact that I could do both sides. You know the flap and that and i probably could have gotten this other end too if i would have really thought it out instead of actually doing all the tickets we could have moved it up right and then have used the bottom half for this piece right here we could have so again something for me to think about and play with but yeah we still need some distressing we need some stenciling so that is one of the papers we've got we got this other one out of that we got this other one, which hasn't dried yet. Actually, it's still kind of wet. They all are. We got all of those tickets. We got this one, which I love. Oh my gosh, this just needs a cool image and then a nice quote and oh, but I wish I would have thought of opening up this flap beforehand, right? Although we could do this side as one different color and this one also this way, right? Yeah, I could have. Such pretty colors. I do not think we have an illusions paint where I live. Oh my goodness, where are you at, Barb? That is so sad. Don't make me sad. Oh, and then we got these ATCs from the first, these backgrounds from the first print, right, that we did. So we got quite a lot. And then all the tickets, which are still drying, but they're going to be cool when they are dry. Ha uh ha. -huh. We got a mountain of tickets now to play with too. Let me move them over. Where are you at, my friend? What country? Prince Edward Island. Oh no. Oh, they don't? Man, that doesn't make sense. Cause um, well, well, Ranger is here, but it isn't Dinah Weekly British? She is, right? No. Yes. Yes, no, no, yes. I swear she is. And then we got this really cool ghost print too out of it, which is kind of, I don't know if I could, let me show you like over here. It ended up with these really cool cells. You know what I'm thinking next week we're going to do? Speaking of like that, that, those cells. God, why is it so blurry? See them? Speaking of those cells. I think next week we might want to play with another product that does really cool cells as well. Oh, what am I thinking? You're right, Barb. You have one Michaels? Oh, Lordy. Well, can you order online? I don't know if they... I don't know if they deliver everything online, you know, but I know, I know, hmm, I'm trying to think what other, like Amazon maybe, I think, we have them in our store, if that helps you any, uh, Barb, um, 
so you can take a look at that. I, I don't know if that would be feasible for you. But anyway, and the smaller bottles are much lighter and smaller, obviously. Oh, my God. Will you look at my hands? <laughs> okay, here we go. You guys ready? Oh, this is a good one. Yeah, that ghost print was pretty cool, huh? Hey, Cheryl. Happy Tuesday. All right. Cheryl, pay attention. Everyone pay attention. Here comes your next question. Wait for the go. Okay, you guys ready? And hey, Barb, if you win, you know, the gift card, hey, you're that much closer to some free product, right? All right. Here is something that is right up our alley. If you're like over 30 years old, you're pretty much in the, you know, you're good with this question. So for those of us 50s, 40s, 60s, good to go. Name a movie. Kevin Cosner started in. So basically name a Kevin Cosner movie. And I think we all know who Kevin Cosner was. He was huge. Maybe not for the young folks nowadays, but he was huge back in the day. You guys got your fingers ready? Here we go. I used to love his movies. Like I probably had like at least three of his DVDs I can think of right off the top of my head. Karina says, <laughs> Nina says, who? Kevin Cosner, honey. He is probably, I don't know, how old is he, guys? 60? He's in his 60s. He was, um, oh, he is an excellent actor. And... He was in a lot of movies that maybe you've heard of. I don't know if, um, actually there's a recent one I can tell you that he was in and I was pretty happy to see him because he's fa fabulous in that too. Um, Hidden Figures, if you guys haven't seen that movie, it's obviously not on this list, which is why I'm mentioning it. Um, Hidden Figures is a fabulous movie and Kevin Costner was in it. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. Here comes your stop. No Googling. Don't forget, do not Google. Honor system. Oh, Tammy, I think I remember that one. Was that the one where he built a boat? That was an excellent movie. Okay, here we go. Let's refresh. Let's refresh and make sure. Okay, first is Dances with Wolves, and right out the gate, Miss Coco took that one home. All right, then we've got Waterworld. Love that movie, owned it. Yes, yes, yes. And that goes to Lisa J. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Lisa, did you get my, ma you did, you responded. Okay, good. Don't forget, sign up, right? Because um, you want to get those emails for the class. And I haven't seen Nettie. Has anybody seen Mon Munson tonight? Did I miss her? And I got to get hold of Peggy too. So make sure you guys register because um, it's free. It's included. So you might as well come and hang out. Uh, the bodyguard was the one with, um, oh my God, she's beautiful. Was beautiful. Um, singer, somebody, Whitney Houston. That was an excellent movie too. Um, bodyguard, Christina N. Congrats. All right. Then we've got Field of Dreams. I saw that one way up here. That goes to Tammy. That was another good one, too. A lot of his movies. Yeah. Tin Cup. That one was the one about um, golfing, right? Oh, no one got Tin Cup. Nope. I don't see it. Mm-mm. -uh. Then we've got The Guardian. I don't remember The Guardian. The Guardian? Nope, I don't see that one. And Untouchables. Yeah, he was a cutie, Carol. Untouchables, Untouchables, Untouchables. Nope, I don't see that one. He was excellent in that movie. Okay, cool. Yeah, the one with the, oh, that was such a good movie, Tammy. If you guys haven't seen that one, Message in the Bottle, highly recommend it. Oh, 
Oh, Tin Cup was, he was with, mm, what is the name of that girl? Oh, she acts in Cheaper by the Dozen and not Renee Zellweger. Um, Renee Russo. And um, I think Kevin Cosner starred in Tin Cup and it's about uh, golf. Really cool. You love the untouchable scene and you didn't get it. Go figure. Yeah, you got it. You get, that was a good one as well, Barb. He did a lot of good movies about the Coast Guard, the Guardian. Wait a minute. I think I know Cheryl. Was that the one where he ends up trying to teach the cadets? He has to put him through the ringer, basically, um, like in the pool and stuff to teach him about you know what it's like to be out there i don't want to spoil it for anyone if, if you haven't seen it you got to watch it if that's the movie i'm thinking of because it was excellent did you bark for real wow do you remember blockbuster yes cheryl says okay guys really like write that down put it in your phone try and remember to watch the guardian Wow, 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 good movie. Yeah, actually all of his movies are really good. I remember Blockbuster, man, that was 100 years ago. All right, you guys ready for the next one? Here we go. Ooh, this is interesting, you guys ready? Name something that develops. You got that? Name something that develops as in develops, you know, as in progresses, name something that develops. Ooh, that's, that could go so many different ways, right? Develop how? Good luck. Oh, wait for the go. Some of you went early. I'll refresh just in case. Give you some more time. There's still some more. Some of you are close. Well, okay, I see. Well, close enough, I guess. I think I see almost all of them except for one. I'll give you a clue. <laughs> this is such a horrible clue. Um, it's something that we are going through at our age. You know, you start feeling it more. <laughs> Maybe so. Yeah, it's true. Um, no, definitely not our muscles or brain. It's the opposite. Getting there. Yes, Nina, getting there. Close. Getting there, Coco. You guys are almost there. Perms. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, not menopause. Okay, I'm going to put in a stop because I'm going to lose the thread. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. I wanted just to give you a clue. We'll see. Because I don't think I saw it. Fat. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are nuts. Fat, that is true. Fat just seems to multiply, doesn't it? <laughs> All by itself. Okay, so the first one is film, obviously, or pictures. And that one goes to, oh, let me refresh again, just to be sure. That goes to shy. Okay, the next one is people or children. Either one of those two words, people or children, I see child. So if somebody's got children, they get it because it's the exact word. If not, it goes to child. Children, shy. Look at you, shy. Then the next one is plants or flowers. Again, remember the rule is we always look for the exact word. If not, we kind of move down the list and see what else we can come up with. Plants or flowers. Plants, plants. Or flowers. Flowers, cocoa. Okay, more tickets, more tickets. 
Then we've got weather or storm. Storms do develop, yes. Weather, I'll take either word, weather or storms. Weathers, weather, 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 storms, mm, seasons, no. Weather or storm, I didn't see it. If I missed it, somebody let me know. And then the last one was ailment, ailment or illness. Blah, blah, blah. Ailment or illness. Cranky knee, that's right. Oh, but I don't think anyone got those words. You guys were all around it. You said, um, you know, pains, PMS. I mean, old age, fat. Yes, you were all around it, but nobody said illness mm, or ailment. You got flowers, honey? Oh, wait, I missed you then. See, that's why I ask. You guys tell me. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Who said flowers? Julia says she said flowers. I see babies. Flowers, you sure did, Julia. Thanks. Okay, and so did I miss either weather, storm, or ailments, or illness? Bye, Angie. Crud. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is there another side to this one? No. Okay, last two. Is this the last day to get in the jar? And let me look at the calendar. Where are we at, guys? I don't even know. Seriously. This is sad. But it's cool having company because then you don't even think about anything, right? This is the last day. Yes, it is a short month. Nina's right. So this is the last day to get into the fairy jar because on the 28th, we're going to be doing bingo and um, the drawing. And then the following weekend, so remember, a week and a half now, so save your pennies, is the sale. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? The 4th, 5th, and 6th. And my goodness, have I have some amazing stuff for you, including all the new color, the, the pink um, Kitsch Flamingo from Tim Holtz, and all kinds of other cool stuff too. I have some custom stuff that I um, did again for you guys, like the postcards and the playing cards. It's off the chain. Wait till you guys see it. Um, so yeah, so make sure you guys jot that down, right? Don't forget 4th, 5th, 6th, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, starting at 2 p.m. And then don't forget Sunday, this coming Sunday at 6 p.m. We um, go ahead and do the um, the um, the bingo night. Okay, so come back for bingo and for more games. Yeah. Hey, Maria. How are you? How do you do bingo? Okay, so the way that it works is you email me and I send you a picture of your bingo card. Now you have two choices when you get that picture from me. You can either just grab um, a piece of paper. Let me find a piece of paper here. Right? And then you can just handwrite your own bingo card. You know, do one of these, right? Blah, 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 blah. And whatever numbers you see in the picture, you just kind of put them in those spots, right? So you basically create a copy or you can just print it if you have a printer. Just print the picture and then you'll have your own bingo card. It's free, so all you have to do is ask me for one and then we just play for fun. And it's a lot of fun. We have, we spend a couple of hours, sometimes three or four, just playing bingo from home and uh, and hanging out. That's it, laughing. Because <laughs> it's kind of funny sometimes. Um, so that'll be on Sunday. So six o'clock Sunday. If you need a bingo card, please make sure you message me before that. All you have to do is email me and say, hey, I need a bingo card, please. And I'll I'll get you one. Um, Lisa, so did I showed up with no warning. What, what, what? Keep saying, I know the packages. I know everybody's. It's everything and everywhere and everybody. This weather has thrown a major... I mean, we know that obviously we've never restored services like we used to have since COVID started. They're, the post office has not been able to do that three-day awesome delivery we used to have, sometimes three to five days. Now it's more like a week to 10 days, right, for, um, for the first class. And now with this whole weather crazy thing that's gripped the entire nation, I mean, yeah, mail's out the window. So it's taken a long time. But here's the weird thing. 
And it's kind of like what Tammy said. So many of you have messaged me, by the way, saying, hey, the weirdest thing. Um, it actually shows like it's still stuck in Tallahassee or in one of the hubs. And it'll say that for like five days. And then all of a sudden, like overnight, it says it's going to be at your doorstep the next day. And you're thinking, there is no way. How can it go from Tallahassee or Texas to like my door in 24 hours? And basically what's happening is they're not updating. And then all of a sudden, like overnight, it shows up. So kind of crazy. But there it is. Everyone just needs to, um, yeah, just be patient with the post office. I mean, you guys can see when we mail it. If you go to PayPal, you can see when we mail it. And you see that we always mail it out within 24 hours, basically. Never more than 48. Um, but um, so we we expedite it like out the door as soon as we get payment. But what the post office does with it, we have no control, unfortunately. So just be patient with them, guys. I know it's frustrating because you're you want to get your goodies. And I want you guys to get your goodies like tomorrow, right? But you know, it is what it is. They're doing the best they can. It's funny because actually, well, not funny, but our entire not here not in our town, the very next town, which is a larger hub, which is Crawfordville. Um, people are not even getting their mail in that town. They, they're getting mail like twice a week now because the entire post office has come down with um, COVID. And so they're having to pull carriers from other, you know, I guess locations and bring them in and they don't know the routes and it's been chaos in the next town. And I feel so bad for those folks, but you know, they can only do what they can do. You know, it is what it is. UP, USPS has gone. But I went back. They do not go. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I mean, they cannot get on those roads. What can you say, right? I sure will, Angie. I think she's upstairs. But okay, you guys ready? Here we go. Last card. Last chance to get in the fairy jar before Sunday for the drawing. So listen up. Get your fingers ready. Oh, this one's cool. Okay. Name a word that ends in mate. M-A-T-E, mate. Name a word that ends in mate. Spelled M-A-T-E. Okay, got it? Here we go. I even gave you the spelling because I know sometimes it's hard to hear. And I know I tend to talk kind of soft. I'm sorry. I try not to scream, but... Sometimes I feel like I'm screaming. Yeah, it is crazy. I know. Thanks for understanding, Shy, for sure. These poor guys and girls. What can you do, you know? Oh, you guys got it. See? Woo. Man, you might have gotten them all. Let me see. Do I see? Ooh, ooh, ooh. If I see them all, I'll stop it. I see one. I see two. I see. Mm, I don't see three. I see. Mm, no, you guys haven't gotten them all. Hmm. What? Seriously? Come on. No, I must be missing something. Keep them coming because you still don't have them all. What? You guys are all around it but not on it. Oh yeah, wait, I see it. No, no, no. Mm, I almost said it out loud too. <laughs> Maddie. Good one, sailmate, boatmate. Yep, shipmate, okay. We're missing one. I think you're missing one, but I guess I'm gonna put in the stop. Oh, get the last five words in there. Come on, guys. It's a very... Basic one. Aha, uh -huh, I think I see it. Stop. I think you got them all. Okay. I think you got them all, so I need six tickets. And then we'll do the other side of the card, and that'll be it. Okay. Here we go. So we start with checkmate. I saw checkmate. Oh, I did, I did. Classmate, still need to clean. The teammate, teammate, checkmate. That goes to Barb Ding. Oh, Lisa. Oh, Lisa, you didn't put mate. 
I have to take the full answer first. Oh, Lisa, that's the second time it's happened to you tonight. Oh, Barb Dingwell, gotcha. Excellent. Soulmate. I think I saw soulmate too, right? Soulmate, soulmate. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Debbie Long. Hey, Debbie. Woo woo in the jar. Then playmate. Play, 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 play. Playmate. I see primate. Playmate. Primate again. Playmate. Coco. Then I see stalemate. I did see that one too. It was up here somewhere. Stalemate. I think it's Marie. No. Nope. Coco. Coco. She beat you to it, Maria. Roommate was the one you guys were all stuck on. And I think I saw it towards the end, right? I think it was Carol. The very last answer was roommate. I think that's what I see. If someone had it above hers, let me know. And then shipmate. And I saw that one as well. Hang on. Ship mate, ship. I saw it somewhere. I saw it. I know I saw it. I love cellmate. That's a good one, Tammy. Shipmate, Kim Southpaw. Okay, did I get that right? Carol had chess. Carol had checkmate? Chessmate? What? Checkmate? Coco, there's no chessment. Checkmate, maybe, is what you're talking about? Let me go see. Checkmate, checkmate. Classmate, cellmate, chessment. Nope, nope, we don't have chessment. It's checkmate. And that was, Lisa had check, which would have been the first one, but she didn't have the full word. Barb Dingwell had the full word, so she gets it. Cremate, oh my gosh. <laughs> You guys are so creative. Remember, these are surveys. People were surveyed. And so 39 people said checkmate. 13 said soulmate. I was shocked at the roommate that was so down there. It was number seven. Okay, perfect. Good. All right, here we go. Oh, sorry, Carol. Okay, ready? Last one. Get your fingers ready. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God, this one is funny. Oh, so wrong, but so funny. Name something men and bears have in common. So name something that men and bears, as in the animal, grr, bear, have in common. That's funny. <laughs> oh my gosh go 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 there's only six answers so i'll get six tickets ready just in case two four six <laughs> oh my gosh i feel so bad thank goodness there are no men here tonight i haven't seen any guys yet because they'd be like excuse me <laughs> say what Sleeps a lot, grouchy, <laughs> scratchy, big belly. Oh my god, <laughs> they smell bad. <laughs> they growl, snoring. Oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> we are not being very nice. Trash diving. <laughs> oh my god, <sighs> you guys are not. They poop. <laughs> you guys are so mean, belching. <laughs> And I'm laughing, which is even worse. Okay, I'm going to put stop. <laughs> I think we got tons. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I need a... Oh, I need a... I need a drink of water. They eat junk. Oh, my God, you guys are mean. <laughs> our poor loved ones, our sons and our husbands, if they could see this, they'd be like, hey, excuse me? You said what? Okay, the first one is Harry and Debbie Long got that one right out the gate. Go, Debbie. Then the next one is likes to sleep. So we're going to look for that specific, like sleeps or sleeping, that word. And if not, we'll try and find something close to it. 
hibernate, eat. Come on, somebody say sleep. So that goes to Barb as well. But let's see if somebody says likes to sleep. Sleep, sleep. I think that's going to be as close as we're going to get. Yep, that goes to Barb. Barb is good at this, huh? She is good. Okay, snoring was next. And that goes to Shy. Nobody said snoring, right? I-N-G. I don't think so. I think everybody said snore. Oh, my God. You guys got me laughing so bad. My eyes are tearing. Yeah, that goes to Shy. Then we've got kill or aggressive. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at that. Six people out of 100 said kill or aggressive. For real? That's just mean. Growl. No, we're looking for kill or aggressive. Those two words. Kill or aggressive. I think I even saw hunt, which is kind of close, but not really. We're looking for kill or aggressive. Kill or aggressive. Kill or aggressive. Nope, nobody got that one. All right. Um, then we've got growl. Growling. Uh, ta -ta -ta, that goes to Sandy. Oh, and look, there's redemption. The last one says they're huggable. Oh, they're huggable. See, they had something. Five people said they were huggable. Did, she, did anyone play nice? Did anyone say huggable? <laughs> oh, we said we're mean things. Oh, my gosh. Guys. Oh, huggable. Oh, I see hugs. I see hugs. I see hugs. Hugs, hugs, hugs. H U G. Yep. That goes to Barb as well. Nice. Well played. Yay. Barb said something nice about the poor men in our lives. They have long tails, dirty paws. <laughs> I do not think anyone said kill. I know, right? Kind of mean. Oh, my God. Coco. Yes, gotcha. Good night, Yolanda. <laughs> go, go. Stop. I'm going to tell Ernie on you. I am. <laughs> you stop. Ernie's super huggable. Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys. I think we're all set. I'm going to go spend some time with the family. All right. So what did we learn today? A, condition your dilutions. If you have the older jars, make sure you condition them and use them. Play with them. Um, yes, the other thing we learned is, okay, they did the math. Yes, it's got a ball bearing in there now. It's got a smaller container. It's got a small air, you know, small hole for air to get into. So, okay, we've learned that. But by all means, these are still good. You recondition them by just using your water. So make sure you do that. Use them all up and then you can switch to the new smaller ones. Um, we've also learned that you got to pick them up while they're uh, wet, at least with mine. Again, could have been just the condition of my paints. Um, so, you know, maybe once I start bringing in some of the new ones into my stash, when we get rid of all these other older ones, we'll try it again and see if, you know, I get different results. But if you guys get different results, let me know as well. Um, what else did we learn? We learned that Maddie can make a big mess. <laughs> we learned that guys are huggable. And yeah, there you go. Some things don't always work out the way we want them to be, but you know what? We work with it anyway. So <laughs> my husband says we were brutal. I'm sorry, Mr. Garrett. <laughs> we were. We were vicious, man. <laughs> all right, guys. I will see you all back again on... Sunday, right? I don't think there's anything else happening before that that I know of. I don't think so. So don't forget, get your bingo cards and ready. And if you do not have one, email me and I'll get your bingo card. And Shy, I'm going to go check out your emails before I head upstairs. Love you all. Blessings. We'll see you soon. Bye.